Guitar Collector Guy presents the coolest 1950s kitchen I've ever played, or the Dan Electro Stock 59 Aquamarine. I know it seems like a cheesy title, but every time I look at a Dan Electro, I actually do think of a mass-produced 1950s kitchen. Same type of feel, textures, and quite honestly, colors. This guitar was designed to be easily and cheaply manufactured, uh, mass-produced, and sold at a very, very low price in department stores when it first came out in the 1950s. And these are reproductions that are made by a company. They're manufactured in Korea. I've wanted one of these for a long time. I got this one. It's brand new. I got it from the Chicago Music Exchange for 388 bucks. You really don't have to worry about messing with this um, guitar and or potentially you know damaging it you can see the sides of the guitar are actually made out of kind of like this laminate almost type of stuff that you would find on the edge of the dining chairs in your kitchenette it's bolt on neck the um, lipstick pickups are um, held on by screws in the back of the guitar really really simple electronics three position switch has clues and kind of almost deluxe style tuners when i started checking this um, the action on it was set really really high and at first looking at it i didn't really have an idea of how to actually set you know string height and so i did look it up online and there are three screws in the bridge that you know that you can adjust really late lightweight guitar has a great resonance to it and um very acoustic like That was me with an SM57 just up near the body of the guitar and the strings. So you can hear that it does play pretty much like almost like an acoustic. You know, you can hear the guitar fairly loud. And what's amazing is later on in this video, you'll actually get to hear I play two clean tracks and two distorted tracks. The clean tracks sound like a halfway decent acoustic guitar plugged in and, and so on. After I adjusted the two screws on either side of the uh, wooden saddle I did get and was able to get the um, string height down to basically what I would normally have is 1.50 for the um, the three low strings and 1.25 for the three high strings and to me that's mid kind of medium low I is an action that I'm normally feel comfortable playing and um, this thing has I believe an aluminum nut um, and between that the bridge and the pickups it has this kind of just really phenomenal twang to it very jangly very acoustic sounding it is a really really fun to play guitar very lightweight it didn't come with a case or a gig bag but i've actually ordered a, a reproduction case that'll be here in a little bit for it it's just really fun to play and the sounds that come out of it are just amazing i think that this is a, a good investment it's definitely something that i can understand why people would have these in their collection and kind of arsenal of guitars that they play i've seen things where people like to take these out on the road as you know one of their gigging guitars and stuff because they don't feel like they have to worry about damaging the guitar. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, and notify. Thank you for watching Guitar Collector Guy. Um, really appreciate you being here. Hope you come back and watch more. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, and notify.